in just one station this morning. High speed horror sending two college friends to the hospital. Officials say this was a result of drag racing danger. Seven Delita Tabizios is live in Miami, hearing exclusively from family members of one of those victims, Elitza. Well, Alex, just a terrible accident here. Both of those men, the young men, their friends, they survived, but they're in extremely serious condition at the hospital as we speak. All this happening uh, not far from where we are standing here in Brickell City Center. They were just walking like so many people here do, but now they are fighting for their lives and their families. They are asking for this hit and run driver to come forward. It's like the worst nightmare. A father getting the call every parent fears. He got hit by two SUVs that were drag racing down the street. Len Edelman's 25-year-old son, Ian, and his best friend, Jason Greenfield, hit by an SUV in Miami's Brickell neighborhood. Lifelong friends. They've been friends since they're five years old. Now both are in the hospital recovering, but in extremely serious condition. Ian, a Columbia University dental student. Jason, a UM medical student. One moment, everything is great with a beautiful future. And the, and the next moment, your whole life could be over just like that. Boom. The violent crash happening early Saturday morning after one within Brickell City Center. You can see the friends here walking down the sidewalk. Then suddenly an SUV hits them. We've stopped the video before the impact. He's alive and we're just so fortunate that he's alive. These are two great young men. The young men rushed to Ryder Trauma Center. The driver of that Dodge Durango, witnesses say, hopped into someone else's car and sped off. To have their life this close, this close, but being just snuffed out by drag racing SUVs at 1.30 in the morning in a beautiful part of Miami on Brickell is just a travesty. Now, as we've been saying, this driver took off after he hit these two friends. 305-471-TIPS is the best number to call if you saw something. Maybe you have a piece of cell phone video that could be helpful to police. Whatever information you may have, cops do want to hear from you because they really want to find whoever did this. For now, we are live in Brickell. Elitza Bezios, Today in Florida.